Yes. Definitely feeling a lot better there. <laughs> Jamie's blog. Good morning, interwebians. Very nice, quiet day here in the night in New York. Although, oh god. Now, like I said, as soon as I said goodnight to you guys, I went straight to bloody bed and I slept a good, let's see, which one? Ten, nine, ten hours? So that's good there. If you followed me recently and stuff, you would have known that my sleep pattern has been atrocious and. Yesterday was kind of a hammer in the nail because it was basically, you know, I had been awake like the day before at 11 a.m. and I had stayed up all the way through to the next day. So in yesterday's vlog, I was just fully awake, uh, still going. So. As soon as I got home yesterday, it was just crash on the bed, just fall asleep for maybe four hours. So after that, it was just basically okay. Yeah, get some food in me, and then go straight back to bed. Then roll it at twelve, and it just was a quiet night. It really was. But you know, dad and Chris, but as well, you know, that was just like the last straw. It. it was like yeah, uh. Definitely got to go to the doctors. Need to go and get this checked out because it could be many things. But I'm guessing here, most probably, it is acute insomnia. I could suffer from that. That would still suck as well because you know I used to be like good at sleeping and stuff. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Okay, fair enough. You know. I would have naps in the day and stuff, but still. But I don't know, it's gone a little bit more worse for wear recently. I don't know what the hell's going on. You know, I don't feel really that stressed or anything, not with work or stuff. But recently it's just been like, boom, awake in the night and stuff. <sighs> Almost probably a fucking owl. But. Definitely next week after Chris's Pax East adventure, uh, we're going to set up an appointment with the doctors and see what on earth is going wrong with me and see exactly where I need to go or what I need to do just so I can get my sleep pad up to start it again. <sighs> I can't stop you. I've got coffee and everything, so that's there. Um, <sighs> gonna have coffee maybe a bit more breath of the wild but yeah it's my friday though yeah boy <laughs> goats are funny god it's such a bloody gloomy day oh, i'm so scottish uh, all right here we go and yeah So, basically getting into work, I'm doing it for like an hour or so now, sorry I'm checking my phone. Yeah, it's a dead day here in work, it really is, but um, more to the point, yeah. it's really hard to try to put these things into words when I talk about certain stuff. But, I would be lying if I said that the friendships and the friends I have back in Wales have been going quite well with talking to them once in a while. I, that would be so terrible at lying with that. But, um, basically, yeah, they haven't. They really haven't. One of them in particular being with my best friend Tom. And uh, our friendship hasn't been doing that well, and basically we've been fighting a lot, arguing and stuff, getting at each other's necks, and 
there were signs of wear and tear and it would get to a point something had to be done and to be honest it kind of hurts it really does when the best friend recommends that basically that we shouldn't be friends anymore and you know have the space and stuff but next time we're talking stuff will be sometime like next year or so when I come back to Wales but to not talk to each other or for our friendship to basically end here and stuff I mean yeah fair enough that he has got a point you know because we're gonna get to a point where things are gonna be said and that's it when it's a point of no return but at the same time it's so because I will say this now, you know, and I don't mean to take offence, and hopefully he doesn't take offence if he's watching this or anything, but some of the th stuff he does sometimes can be, like, a little bit irrational or stupid, you know, he could be an asshole sometimes, he could be stupid, but hey, I could be an asshole, I could be stupid, I could be selfish. But that was our friendship, you know, we respected each other, you know, even when hanging out, you know, we knew where the line was and we knew that. We know exactly where it was, and just recently, like I said, you know, it got to a point where if we continued on, it was going to be a no point of return, and then we'd be permanently lost. He decided, and after talking and stuff, and being quite upset with it, it's basically best that. He's not being friends anymore. Am I happy with the decision? Not really, but it has to be done. And it sucks. It really just suck. And then Ugh oh, fucking hell. It's really hard. I've been having the last couple of months or so hard. Not only with bills and stuff, not getting back to Wales and stuff, so that kind of made me homesick. You know, I feel a little sad because, you know, Chris, you know, my husband for fuck's sake, is trying his hardest to make it less homesick for me, to try and bring things from home and stuff, and try and make me feel at home. And I know he's trying his best, and I'm so grateful for that. And the only recent thing I had from home was the little kutch plaque. And that's about it. And the last pies Chris made the other day really did hit home. But... That was just a kick in the teeth. That really was. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what the fuck I can do anymore. Sorry, again, but the best way I can open up is in front of a fucking camera like this to the four or five people who watch this shit. I need to get back to work. Alright guys, it's just been a quiet night and stuff. I meant work was still work and at the end it just made me feel like... Eh, crap and stuff. So, that's that. Anyway, I am going to call it a night, guys, as it is quite late. And I'm going to try and get some sleep. But, thank you guys for watching today's video. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it, although that'd be kind of weird. But, if you enjoyed, you know, what I've been saying, although, if you've enjoyed the videos and stuff so far, don't forget, as always, to like and subscribe. And, we shall see you tomorrow for a brand spanky new day and hopefully it'll be a little bit better than the rest. So until then, take it easy guys. Last time.